your precious, beautiful little baby is finally here. Then you find out they've had a hearing test and they may have failed that hearing test. So now you have a lot of questions. What do you do now? And what should you do next? I'm Dr. Teresa Caraway from Hearing First, and we're here to support you parents and families so that if you have a child who is deaf or hard of hearing, you have a questions about childhood hearing loss, that we can support you so your baby can learn to listen, talk, read, and thrive. So the words failed and refer on a hearing screening can sound a little bit scary or alarming. We're gonna talk about what, a hear what is a hearing screening, what it means, and what you can do to follow up. Three out of every 1,000 babies are born with hearing loss. The American Academy of Pediatrics considers a failed screening a neurodevelopmental emergency, meaning that it's something to act quickly on and to understand the status of your baby's hearing. You may not have any history of hearing loss in your family, so it may be coming as a complete surprise to you that your baby even failed. But it's so important to follow up and follow up urgently. The hearing screening is a simple and easy test. And in fact, it's so gentle, your baby sleeps through it. Through that testing, uh, they can understand what the status is of your baby's hearing. When a baby's hearing is screened, they either pass or they fail. And what it means if they fail or if they refer, it means they need further attention. It could mean that they need to have their hearing rescreened, or it could mean that they need to have a full diagnostic evaluation. While it is a possibility that your baby has fluid, there are other reasons too. So if your baby fails or refers on a screening test, Follow up quickly, follow up urgently, because those days count, and every minute counts for your baby's development. I don't want this to sound too alarming or to scare you, but every day counts, and it's critical that we make these early days count and to act urgently. What do I mean by act urgently? It means seeking and scheduling a full hearing evaluation or diagnostic appointment for your baby quickly. And you may be kind of a little apprehensive of that because you know, you're scared of what those results might be, but it could be that your baby has typical hearing and or it could mean that your baby does have a hearing loss. Either way, knowledge is powerful. And if your baby happens to have hearing loss, fitting hearing technology early, getting started in early intervention, they can learn spoken language through listening. As you navigate these next steps, it may feel a little overwhelming, but know that Hearing First is here to support you. You might want to connect with other families who are going through the same thing of experiencing their baby failed a newborn hearing screening or just received a diagnosis. That's where the Facebook group comes into play and you can connect with other families and ask questions and share experiences. We also have handouts and information, resources, videos for you to access so that you feel supported every step of the way. Just because your baby failed their newborn hearing screening doesn't necessarily mean that they have hearing loss. But if it does, we're here to support you every step of the way. So explore more videos with us, or explore our resources and information that we have, explore our communities where you can connect with other families because you don't have to do this alone. We've prepared actually a resource or downloadable that's free for you to access that will give you tips and suggestions of how you can prepare for your baby's hearing evaluation. So parents, dream big. Those little ears are cute and they're so important. It's important that you know the status of your baby's hearing first. Their future, it all starts with hearing.